Do you need vitamin K2? You're probably bombarded with adverts for vitamin K2 supplements. But are they worth buying? Let's see. Vitamin K is an essential nutrient involved in blood clotting, vessel health, and wound healing. Deficiency is rare because vitamin K1 or phylloquinone is found naturally in plants and is abundant in a varied diet. Although vitamin K2, also known as menaquinone, is itself not essential, it does prevent vitamin K deficiency. Vitamin K2 has other benefits on top of its role in wound healing. It's been shown to be anti-inflammatory, to improve bone health, and may reduce the risk of some cancers. K2 can be produced by the fermentation of foods by our gut microbiome. Menaquinone 7, or MK7, the most active form of K2, is produced from the fermentation of plants such as soybeans in traditional Japanese natto or cabbage in German sauerkraut. MK7 works with vitamin D3 and calcium in bone mineralization and prevents calcium from accumulating in the blood, helping to lower the risk of heart disease. As most of us don't consume many fermented products, supplementing with MK7 might be worth considering. How much vitamin K2 should you take? Some suggest 175 micrograms daily.